Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And well, that didn't take long. So if you guys watched the video that I posted yesterday, that AT&T had some bigger problems on the horizon. Well, it seems that one of the most aggressive investors that AT&T had just pulled out. They said they're no longer confident in the company, the future plans. So they completely pulled its investment out of AT&T. Now, I've reached out to a few people already, got some opinions from analysts, and they're telling me that this is a positive and a negative. It's a positive from at and standpoint that they don't really have to be as aggressive anymore or follow the that three-year plan that Elliot came up with. The negative in this situation is at and is at risk of losing bigger investors. So Elliott Management Group, of course, had a, had a good amount of stake in the company. And there are other investors that are also showing concerns about the company and the direction that they're heading in. So that is something that AT&T does not want to happen. As I said in yesterday's video, there is a point in time where somebody has to budge. Either there there's pushback from the board of directors from AT&T saying that this plan from the investors too aggressive and that it's going to cut into profits if we continue selling off business parts. Then the investor comes and says, well, we want this to happen. If not, we're going to pull out. So at that point, somebody has to budge. And it seems that in this case, um, Elliott Management decided to budge and they completely pulled out their stake in the company. So I just wanted to hear from you guys. This is very interesting how this is taking place and, and, and what's happening. It just seems that the investors are not happy with how aggressive AT&T is. They want them to be even more aggressive. Apparently, at the start of every quarter, it seems, the investment groups have to, have to uh, disclose which investments they're investing in. And in Q3 already, Elliott Management pulled out of AT&T. This happened in Q3. So what we're what we've seen recently seems to be another investor that also has very similar concerns to the uh, Elliott Management Group. So this is very interesting. I, as I said in the video yesterday, I think there there are a few things that AT and T can do to become more aggressive and a better company. And I might make a video like I did uh, about. About two years ago, if I remember correctly, I made a video giving a few points on how I would run Sprint as the CEO, and that pretty that video did pretty well. A lot of people, there was some good interaction. A lot of people said, yes, I agree. A lot of people said I would do it like this. So I'll likely make another video uh, kind of giving you guys some of the uh, choices that I would make as a CEO of AT&T's. And then kind of get your guys' input on that as well to kind of see, okay, this this may work, this may not work. Because, you know, everybody has an opinion. So why not? You know, and for all we know, AT&T may listen in. Remember last time I made that video? Shortly after uh, I made that video, Sprint got rid of uh, direct to you It just, you know, that's one of the choices that I, that I said in the video. I would get rid of direct to you immediately. Not saying that Sprint took that advice but i'm saying like after the fact they did get rid of direct to you it was just it was just wasn't cost effective for sprint at that time to to be running additional vehicles all changes uh you know new tires all the time that, that cost money so that just wasn't a good investment at that time sure now in these times direct to you would have probably taken off but you know that's in the past so can't dwell on that so let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this do you think this is a bad thing that that these investors are are budging and willing to pull out of the company is the situation really that bad at at t that investors are no longer willing to invest if you have stock a decent amount of share in at t are you thinking about selling your investment in at t and taking your money elsewhere let me know in the comment section down below i know the dividends is usually very high with at t and it does pay out but 
AT&T is heavily invested in a losing business on the media side for now. DirecTV is bleeding customers. Uverse is bleeding customers. HBO Max, in my opinion, seems to be the product that that will head them in the right direction. That is likely one of the choices that I would make as a CEO. I would like to completely, completely invest in the OTT space, ATT TV, HBO Max. That's likely where I would head, and I would likely get rid of DirecTV, Uverse altogether, Uverse TV. I would get rid of those immediately. Like, I wouldn't even 50, 60, 100% gone. I would completely get rid of that. But I'll I'll definitely make that video here in the short term, and then... um. We'll just we'll just go over some of those points and then we'll see where you guys uh, where you guys stand and what your opinions are on the on the choices that I would make. So, again, if you are new to the channel or you have been on the channel, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload the content. Also, follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. Um, the Twitter got a new update today, so I may move all my social media content to one platform um i i really like twitter it's i think it's one of the better platforms out there instagram just for me is like very boring at this point so i may move all of the pictures and all of that to the uh, all to the twitter um we'll see but make sure you follow my twitter for now and then also the instagram still i'll let you guys know if i move it all into one social media platform and um yeah so definitely follow those they will be in the description down below uh, thanks again for watching this is tyrone with tech life and i will see you guys in the next video peace